Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Fiora, the Grand Duelist. Fiora is a melee fighter, duelist, and carry, adept at navigating through combat, dealing with counterattacks from her foes, and dealing tons of damage to specific targets. A properly played Fiora will dominate opponents with almost no chance for escape. Fiora's passive is Duelist. Whenever Fiora deals physical damage to an enemy, she will begin regenerating extra health for a few seconds. If she damages an enemy champion, this effect will actually stack upon itself up to a cap. Lunge causes Fiora to dash to target enemy, damaging it on arrival. Lunge can be used a second time to dash again to the same or a different enemy before going on cooldown. Lunge's primary purpose is to close the distance to enemy targets, so take one point early, but it doesn't need to be maxed until level 18. Riposte passively grants Fiora bonus attack damage, empowering her physical abilities and basic attacks. Once activated, Fiora will parry the next basic attack from an enemy champion, neutral monster, or large enemy minion, blocking the damage and reflecting some damage back to the attacker. The passive damage and active blocking make Riposte a must-have at level 1 for jungling, while maxing it by level 13 gives you great fighting power. Burst of Speed grants Fiora significantly increased attack speed for a short time. While this buff is active, Lunge and Basic Attacks grant Fiora an additional movement speed buff that stacks up to a cap. Additionally, Kills and Assists lower Burst of Speed's cooldown. Due to the amazing speed bonuses, Burst of Speed is Fiora's most effective form of damage increase, so max it by level 9. Fiora's ultimate is Blade Waltz. After targeting an enemy champion, Fiora dashes around striking all nearby enemy champions at random. She can hit the same target multiple times, but repeat attacks deal reduced damage. Additionally, she will always come back to hit her initial target with the final blow. These strikes also apply on hit effects such as Lifesteal and Black Cleaver's Armor Shred. The amazing damage growth on Blade Vault should have you taking it whenever available, at level 6, 11, and 16. In lane, fight in small bursts until you build an advantage. Here I lunge onto Nasus and activate Riposte plus Burst of Speed. If he runs, I get free damage, and if he hits back, I win thanks to Riposte. Because I land multiple attacks, I get a lot of health back as well from Duelist. Riposte is especially useful against champions who use very obvious next hit abilities. Landing against Nasus, I wait to hit Riposte right before he hits me with Siphoning Strike. I block what would be massive damage and hit him back thanks to Riposte's counterattack. Fiora can close a lot of distance by first dashing to other nearby enemies. Here I come to gank Scion, so I lunge first onto an enemy minion and then onto his face. I hit burst of speed for some damage, and once the attack speed ends, blade walls to pick up the kill. If you like playing champions like Nasus who use these big attacks, you'll want to bait Riposte. Nasus comes at me with Siphoning Strike, and I tap Riposte, thinking he'll swing at me. Instead, he just backs off, waits a second, and then smacks me for tons of damage. When fighting against Fiora, pay special attention to Burst of Speed, as it's her primary steroid ability. Right as I activate Burst of Speed, Scion tags me with Cryptic Gaze. Not only can I not utilize the bonus attack speed while stunned, but I also can't trigger the bonus movement speed because I can't attack. Be careful when choosing the first target for Blade Waltz. Fiora will return to strike your initial target with its final hit, and good players can use this against you. Here I make the mistake of targeting Jarvan near his turret. He flashes to his turret and hits me with Cataclysm, completely locking me in turret range until I die. Because Blade Waltz benefits from lifesteal, you should wait to use it until you've taken some damage. As we get into a teamfight, I open with Lunge and get onto Ash with Burst of Speed and Riposte. Once I get low, I target her with Blade Waltz. It takes me out of combat so I stop taking damage, heal a lot of it back, and then continue fighting with a new, much larger health pool. For runes, your focus should be on dealing as much physical damage as possible, while also being able to survive in battles. Because of this, I recommend Armor Penetration Marks, Flat Armor Seals, Magic Resist Per Level Glyphs, and Flat Attack Damage Quintessences. Masteries should serve the same end. Deal as much damage as possible, but make sure you can survive melee fighting. I recommend 2190 Masteries, taking all the standard physical damage increases in offense, plus bonus armor and health in defense. For summoner spells, take Smite if jungling, and consider summoner spells such as Ignite, Exhaust, Ghost, and Flash. 
In Classic, your item goal should be to gain as much damage as possible while also picking up some lifesteal. Open with a Vampiric Scepter when jungling, or otherwise, grab Cloth Armor and 5 Health Potions. Take a Wriggle's Lantern and Berserker's Greaves as quickly as possible. The major items to take here are Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge, Yomu's Ghost Blade, Last Whisper, and finally a Frozen Mallet. In Dominion, you want an almost identical build. Open with Prospector's Blade, Boots of Speed, and a couple of Health Potions. Then, rush for Berserker's Greaves and Sanguine Blade. Add Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, and Phantom Dancer. If you need more durability, consider Frozen Mallet, Odin's Veil, or Guardian Angel. Thanks for tuning in to the Fiora Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.